what's up xrp family thank you guys for joining the video for today we have many things happening at the moment and we are getting closer and closer to settlement to talk of settlement and the signs are literally everywhere so we're gonna dig in some very interesting stuff in this video guys so stay tuned we have here the digital euro association blog now you have to be you have to pay attention to how these people are talking because they all talk the same they all use the same words they have the same goal and they have the same mission right and this is how ripple was talking from the beginning you can clearly see that ripple's plan and vision is passed on to these countries for using cbdc's according to the atlantic council cbdc tracker approximately 87 countries representing over 90 percent of global gdp are exploring cbdc's however compared to the number of central banks researching this topic very few have fully launched the cbdc or run an advanced pilot project so far the bahamas sand dollar nigeria inaira operate a cbdc system while the eastern caribbean currency union is running a pilot on most of its island now you can clearly see guys that this is the fourth industrial revolution upon us right it's not happening very fast but you can clearly see that within the next five years or six years all countries are going to be using cbdc's and maybe cash will disappear now there are some bad things for that because they have more control and they will definitely use it to suppress people and that is just a fact you cannot stop that that is why a lot of people actually support bitcoin which is freedom right but bitcoin is just not efficient enough guys to be used as a currency now here we can see the new uk prime minister is pushing heavily to introduce a cbdc now here we can see bitcoin magazine is saying the uk needs bitcoin but listen ripple has been working with the bank of england years before years and years and we all know that bitcoin is not near efficient enough nor does it have the technology to come close to what xrp ledger is doing so we all know that it's not bitcoin that's gonna run cbdc's right let's take a look what the new prime minister has to say which is a very interesting event happening right now and the timeline is complete and we are almost there today i'm proud to say that under the uk's presidency the group of the world's seven most advanced economies the g7 is launching a set of public policy principles for retail central bank digital currencies, CBDCs. Central bank digital currencies could be a digital version of money, a bit like a digital banknote that could be used alongside physical notes and coins. Unlike most of the digital money people use daily today, it would be issued directly by a central bank, like the Bank of England in the UK and governments and central banks across the world are working together looking into what having a digital currency might mean in practice. This includes issues that people care about such as ensuring users money would be safe and secure, that it could work with other ways to pay, would be energy efficient and available to everyone. A potential CBDC could offer businesses and consumers new ways to pay in the future. It's all part of the wider story of digital innovation that has delivered benefits to millions around the world and in the UK. The decision on whether to launch a central bank digital currency is for each country to make, and no G7 jurisdiction has yet made that choice. These decisions raise important questions about the reshaping of our economy, financial systems, and the way in which people interact with money and payments. That's why working together and careful evaluation with our international partners is essential. In the UK earlier this year, I announced a new joint task force between the Treasury and the Bank of England to look into a potential CBDC as a complement to cash and bank deposits. We're also hearing from firms, technology experts and others. Under the leadership of the UK, this report today will help support and inform exploration of CBDCs in the G7 and beyond. With these principles, the G7 is leading an important step change in the global policy conversation. The report covers a range of important matters, such as financial stability, 
cyber resilience, energy efficiency, privacy, inclusion, and tackling illicit finance. These factors should all be considered when designing and potentially delivering a CBDC that would be fit for the future. Our shared objective is to ensure that CBDCs would be grounded in long-standing commitments to transparency, the rule of law and sound economic governance. The G7 will continue its work in this important area, working with others to enhance understanding and use of these principles. We're excited to be taking a leading role with G7 members in publishing this exploratory work, bringing money and finance into the 21st century. A very clear message, guys. They're trying to push CBDCs very quickly. Remember, it's all about control. It's all about changing this financial system, which it definitely needs right now. Look at this, guys. Exactly the same picture. It's actually insane. Look at that. Look at that. Such a weird sign again here, guys. We are very close. We are very close. The things that are happening right now is insane. 1st September 2022. Bank of England refers to XRP as a digital currency. A CBDC is different from cryptocurrency, also known as crypto assets. Cryptocurrencies are not issued by a central bank. These privately issued digital currencies include Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP. Very clear that they um, actually call XRP a currency, right? And Ripple is working with the Bank of England, as we know. Here's a golden cross happening on XRP, which is usually a very good sign. And we know that we have kind of this bigger flag happening where XRP is stalling, just waiting. XRP is waiting. You can see it on the charts as well, guys. It is just waiting to absolutely explode to the upside. So get ready because I think we are closer than ever. Interledger Protocol and XRP, Bill and Melinda Gates, Moja Loop, CBDC, Last Mile Payments. Interesting research topics, citizens. The rabbit hole is deep. It goes very, very deep, guys. If you do your research, you will find things that you cannot believe. Here we can see interoperability solution based on routing by interledger protocol. And then here we can see sch schematic payment diagram utilize XRP ledger for settlement. This is the plan on how to actually utilize the XRP ledger. Interledger can use XRP for settlement. Look at that. Moja loop, ISO 222, interledger. Now, you think that Bill Gates is going to invest in XRP or Ripple just by any chance? It's not going to happen, guys. These people are always ahead of the game. You have to understand that. RippleNet was designed so that customers seeing the benefits of our, of our fiat-based network could flip the switch. To Look at this, guys. Look at this. So David Schwartz says on August 30. You all have until November 4th to figure out what the Roku channel is, right? Look at this. The sim, so this is Roku TV. The sim racing channel on Roku TV is free again. This coming week, the tech team will flip the switch and TSRC will be free for all to watch your favorite broadcasters. You think this is coincidence, guys? Let me know in the comments. I don't think it's coincidence. I think the signs are all there and it's very clear to what is happening here guys they're giving you signs which they always do they always give you signs what is going to happen they like that elite people like to give you signs they want to mock people now look at this this is a breakout which can happen very soon right of course this is a bit uh subjective but we can clearly see that xrp just reaching a point to break out of that long flag to the downside which is guys november is going to be huge november is going to be huge so here we can see this is an interesting picture guys going from candles to light going from horses to cars going from paper to to a laptop and going from bitcoin to xrp now i don't really agree with the bitcoin here because bitcoin in itself is an innovation actually it had to be cash right or or the payment system itself but this is what's happening now, guys. This is the fourth industrial revolution. We are going 
to change the world with this XRP. That's actually what these people are doing. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, first ever net zero aligned financial center. Again, net zero, which cryptocurrencies can bridge CBDCs, acts as a acts as a bridge asset and is net zero, guys. There is not many that do that. Let's take a look. This is a historic wall of capital for the net zero transition around the world. What matters now is action to invest that capital in our low carbon future. To do that, investors need to have as much clarity and confidence in the climate impact of their investments as they do in the traditional financial metrics of profit and loss. So our third action is to rewire the entire global financial system for net zero. Better and more consistent climate data, sovereign green bonds, mandatory sustainability disclosures, proper climate risk surveillance, stronger global reporting standards, all things we need to deliver. And I'm proud that the UK is playing its part. Today, I'm announcing that the UK will go further and become the first ever net zero aligned financial center. Again, guys, if this video is not showing you how close we are, or you still do not believe that XRP is going to change everything, you clearly need something else. And I don't know, I can't help you, but this is it, guys. Stay strong. So be ready because November is going to be a big month. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. Cheers.